have any control, but it, it just got in nice to know as someone who lives right here. Teresa Angel says for the past 13 years, she has never worried about what could be built on the Native American land that backs up to her home. Until rumors began last year that it could be a retail space with slots and a smoke shop. It's not a high traffic corner. It's only because they can build whatever they want to on that land and they feel like they can make some money. Councilor Phil Lakin says he too continues to receive confirmation that something could happen in the next two years. We're taking this very, very seriously. This property is zoned residential, but since it's tribal land, it can be developed into anything. This will just um, have a very detrimental effect and impact on not only property values but the general quality of life in that area and I would just will not stand for it. Paul Chizzo inherited this property which is a Muscogee Creek allotment and in 1990 he leased a portion of it for a smoke shop. Now documents show he died in April and his son Daryl tells neighbors he now assumes the land. Daryl says he has no comment about any development. I think it could cause us to move. And which is very sad because we planned on keeping this home until we had our family raised. Lakin says he is now taking action at the federal, state, and city levels to stop this. We are very much trying to be proactive in this category. We, we don't want to be in the same position that Broken Arrow is in where they're already turning dirt.